Have you guys ever been to someone's house and they have a dog that just won't stop barking? Oh my god, it's so annoying. Just shut the f*** up. Because the dog knows that if it barks enough, it will get a treat. So that it finally shuts up. That's what your lizard brain is like when you're watching videos on the hub. Oh, it just keeps giving you all these thoughts about girls until your brain is just like, enough is enough. I gotta spank one out right now. Bro, you know exactly what I'm talking about. You've been there. I've been there. We've all been there. It's like being tortured 24 seven, bro. And your brain is holding you hostage. Like he's a terrorist and he's just like, oh, you better beat it. <laughs> That's the lizard. Look at him running around in there. He's pushing all the buttons, pulling the levers. He's like, yes, good. I need you to come. You sit down. You open up your computer. You're doing your work. The lizard's like, no. Look at her ass. Open another tab. I'm telling you guys, it's basically terrorism. And then one thing leads to another. And the next thing you know, you look like this. Not good, bro. Not good. I don't want you to continue suffering like this, bro. So I threw this video together to convince you about how bad this habit of yours is and how it is destroying your brain. I remember being in the exact same position you are right now, bro. I was like 10 years old and I discovered Google. And naturally, the first thing I Googled was naked chicks. Denmo Jr. was a wild little guy. He had a real problem. He was fapping all day. But I was a fucking kid, bro. I didn't know any better. But you do know better, which is why you're here. Welcome to your intervention, bro. I'm your doctor, Dr. Denmo. So let me share five ways that porn is destroying your brain. And make sure you stick around to the last one because this one is actually gonna piss you off you may never fap again after hearing this bro you might get emotional number one the reason it is destroying your brain it makes other women unattractive when's the last time you walked down the street and approached a girl in real life let alone checked out a girl looked at her because you found her attractive i'm gonna go out on a fucking limb here and assume that you don't find most women in real life attractive anymore now you could say it's because of tiktok and feminism and every chick's like a land whale with purple hair but Let's be honest, bro. There are plenty of attractive girls walking around in your town, in your city, in your country. They're everywhere. But you just don't even see them anymore because you're so used to being stimulated by the absolute baddest, dirtiest tricks online. Now, when you walk around and you see an average or even above average looking girl, you're just like, ah, I've seen better than that. You go on your phone and instantly on Instagram, you just see Instabaddy. Each time you swipe, you see another girl. You get to go through her photos. Look at that ass. Oh, when you hit the right swipe and there's like that one second in the air where your brain is like, okay, there's a very small possibility that we could fuck this chick. And if you get the match, you're like, oh, you're seeing all these girls online all the time. But then you leave your house and you're like, why does every chick look so normal? Why does every chick look so average? Think about it this way, dude. It's like eating vegetables after you have a nice big bowl of ice cream, okay? You're eating that ice cream, chocolate banana sundae. Oh, so good. You leave the house and it's vegetables everywhere. And you're like, oh, I don't want any of this. This is so dangerous for you, bro, because it trains your brain to only be able to shoot web for eight, nine, and 10 out of 10s. And I guarantee that most of the women you see walking around now do not meet that criteria because of all of the women that you're exposed to when you watch these videos. So you're basically making yourself gay. Not actually. I just had to throw that in and making sure you're paying attention, bro. Number two, the reason it's destroying your brain is it's making you watch videos like this. Let's be honest, bro. You don't want to be here right now. Can you admit that you have a fucking problem? Like seriously, I'm talking right through the camera to you. What are you doing right now? You're sitting there, you're like, oh, I have a problem. Denmo just uploaded a video on how to be- Bro, I see you. Put the lotion down. You should be watching videos about what to do when all three of your girlfriends accidentally show up to your house at the same time. Not no fap video number fucking 326, okay? Guys that don't watch these videos are out in the world banging right now just clapping cheeks bro not on youtube watching no fap video chad's just out there just like oh yeah you need accountability all right we have a discord with fifteen thousand other guys and it's not like a fucking no fap discord okay but we do have a section for discipline and accountability so you can go into my discord server it's totally free and you can message somebody and be like yo bro i'm trying to stay accountable to not fapping and you can meet somebody in there that can help you out. Moving on. The number three reason that it's destroying your brain is all of the lost time. Think about it, bro. Not even just the uh, itself, but like you have to go into a room. You have to lock the door, make sure that nobody else is around. 
you have to open five, six, ten different tabs, watch a little bit of this video, watch a little bit of that one. By the time you're done, it's been like an hour and a half, bro. And that's just for one fap, okay? Some of you guys are ghost fappers. Comment below if that's you. You can just oh, pinch one out. 10 seconds, get back to work. But let's be honest, bro, that's not you, okay? Even if fapping was neutral, you're still wasting hours per week after several months. We're talking like 30, 40, 100, 200 hours, and all of those hours could have went towards improving your life. It may seem free, but it's actually not because you're spending your time and your energy and your focus on it. So you're actually a slave to your own pleasure, to the lizard in your brain. He's cooking up there. He's like, ah, ha, 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 ha. You go to school, you go to work pay your taxes, you come home just to bust one out. Oh, you're slave to your own cock. Not good, bro. Number four, and this is going to trigger a lot of you, but if you watch porn, you're a fucking cuck. That's right, guys, a cuck. Because there's a study I read online that said that whatever we beat off to frequently actually trains us to be turned on and excited by that. And that's why certain people have like fetishes and preferences. The problem is with porn is that when you watch the videos enough, that is what is necessary for you to nut, which makes sense, right? But here's the crazy part about it. Most of the videos you're watching is some dude banging a chick and you're always watching that dude bang that chick, which means you are jerking off to a dude banging a chick. Just think logically here, bro. If you're beating off to a video of a dude banging a chick, that's exactly what I just said. You're cucking yourself into liking watching other dudes bang chicks. So let's say eventually the little cockroach you are, you come out from under the fridge, you go out into the real world, you get a girlfriend, and then all of a sudden you just start having all these fantasies of her getting fucked by another dude. It's because you're a cuck. The lizard up there is a dirty little cuck. He's like, yeah, oh, we don't want that. If that's you, get the fuck out of here. The save the channel for you, bro. Number five, and this is the most triggering one. When you're watching porn all the time, it prevents you from meeting women in real life. Because instead of improving yourself, approaching girls, learning social skills, confidence, you just slap your stick, beat your meat, tickle your pickle, which means you're not even competing. It's actually good that you're not competing because it makes it super easy for guys like me. Think about that girl that you saw at the grocery store, library, she's in your yoga class, whatever. Super hot, right? Well, you go home and you close your eyes and you go, oh, but I go out and I actually approach her in real life. And then I clap those cheeks for real, man. There's dudes out there banging the girls that you want to, but you can't bang them. In fact, you're beating off watching them bang your chick by watching videos, bro. Like, that's pathetic. Guys like me are clapping your future girlfriend's cheeks. I want you to close your eyes and imagine that, bro. <laughs> no, hey, put the lotion down, bro. I want you to imagine your dream girl. How beautiful is she? What does she look like? What are the things that she says? What do you guys do together? Oh, man, you have kids. They're so beautiful. Oh, look at them. Okay, now I want you to just imagine me obliterating those cheeks. That's right. And it's because you don't have the balls to approach girls in real life. Literally, your balls are empty. Okay, because you're just shooting sticky everywhere. Now, this was me for a long time, guys. I was like you. I was a fucking idiot. And I was in high school. I was beating my meat all the time. Even in my 20s, the odd time I'd be beating my meat watching these videos. But then I decided I'm going to go into the real world and solve this problem because I hated how empty and shitty it made me feel beating off to a screen all the time. So I spent years approaching and talking to girls. And trust me, I was awkward. I was skinny. I had acne. I didn't really think that highly of myself. But I learned a system to stop having approach anxiety, become charismatic, become exciting, funny, and approach women in real life. And this was after lots of research. This was after me going out and filming myself doing it and posting the progress online. I spent years researching this and getting really good at it. And then I filmed videos of me doing it, breaking it down step by step in order to teach guys like you how to leave the cockroach den, go out into the real world and bang some baddies. I want you to fuck, bro. I don't want you to ever beat off again. I want you to have the option to go out and fuck chicks. So I put everything I learned together into one sick ass course in video. You can go check it out by clicking the link in the description below. There's a free video on there. It's like 35 minutes long. It teaches you everything. So go check that out and make me a promise, bro. Just please, you don't have to get my course. Just go to my website, watch the video. It'll teach you how to leave your house and approach girls in real life and stop beating your meat all the time, bro. It's literally destroying your brain. We didn't even scratch the surface, all the ways that it fucks you up.
And that's why it's so important for you to also find an accountability partner. Find a friend that every time you want to fap, you text them and be like, bro, I think I want to fap again. It's like Alcoholics Anonymous, right? Is that a thing? Fapaholics Anonymous? I don't know if it's a thing, but if it is, we're starting right now. Join the Discord. If you have a fapping problem, we got other guys in there that can support you and help you out. And for fuck's sakes, man, learn how to bang chicks in real life so you don't have to beat off anymore. It's way better. Trust me, bro. Now, the next video to watch after this is going to appear right here on the screen. Go and watch that right now, and I will see you in there.